Happy Tuesday. It's that time of the week. Taking a look at the lifted van market. Vans for sale. I shared this one last week and I had a feeling it was going to sell right away and it did. Who bought this van? Anyone watching my channel that bought this van sold for $13,000. There is something similar for sale. Well, similar as in similar price and lifted. Check this out. Where is it? Right there. So this one's listed at 13. I saw it last week listed for 16. He dropped the price to 13. And here it is right here. Let's, let's go ahead and take a watch. This guy did a little tour of it. Here we have a 2004 Ford E350 XLT. Plug the van in, 120 volt power. There's a shower awning, eight gallons of water in that pipe there. Nice front custom bumper, ready for a winch. There's two sets of light, individually operated on switches. Captain's chair there that swivels around to the rear. Swinging side doors, ARB fridge freezer, cabinet with drawer, three deep cycle batteries. We also have a 12 volt TV with DVD player built in. Here's your power bank, 120 volt outlet over there. Another one in the rear. You have your bench seat here with three seat belts, swinging doors. There's a lift, wheels, Nitoterra grappler tires with about 50%. Nice rack that swings back for the spare tire and a little storage bin there. That bed actually uh, swings up against the wall flat or makes a bed. Is this your next ride? It's red. Is this your next ride? So it seems like $13,000, like when these lifted vans are for sale for that price, that seems like it's going to sell. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on this one. $13,000 listed two weeks ago. I caught it last week for $16,000. Action van lift, I caught the decal on this. So how many miles on this? 177. See, this one that just sold had 190. This one has 177. This was a 2014, though, so it was newer. This one's a 04, so 10 years older than that one that sold for 13. Let's keep an eye on this one. Seems like 13 is the right price. Okay, so this one, I actually did a search in Oregon, saw this one in Oregon, listed 100,000 miles, but here's the problem. Money is still owned, owed on this vehicle, so what's going on here? But 25 grand for a 2018, and that's the thing with these Expresses. I'm not sure when they were discontinued, and I think the 6.0's got the modern, like, my Econoline's a V10, and it only has 305 horsepower. It never got the 360 horsepower. Three-valve V10. I have the two-valve V10. So the, the Econoline's were always behind a generation in um, the engines. But these uh, Chevy Express has got a modern V8 with 400 horsepower. So something to think about with these um, Express vans, if you could afford a newer one. I was looking at the older 6.0s. I my my budget was like 10 grand when I was looking at vans and the older 6.0s had 300 horsepower, 360 foot pounds of torque. The newer Expresses have 400 horsepower and 400 foot pounds of torque like a modern V8. My V10 is a 305 and a 420 foot pounds of torque. So not bad power on my van, but it never got modern horsepower numbers like these Expresses. So this one's a nice van. Two-wheel drive lift to 25 grand, but it says money still owed on it. So don't know what's going on there. It was listed six weeks ago, so no clue. But yeah, much newer van and 100,000 miles. It's a nice vehicle. Yeah, 21 to 25 grand. And then let's just go ahead and take a look at Econolines that are priced really high. I mean, this is the 7.3 diesel Lifted two-wheel drive, 34 grand. See, it's funny when the Kelly Blue Book says these are worth $1,000 to $3,800. So this guy wants 35 grand for it. This one's been listed for a while. I haven't shared this one yet because I just had a feeling this one's going to be here for a while. So I'll finally share it. Yeah, I decided to share it because we saw how much this uh, Chevy costs, uh, 2018, and... 
Here we are looking at a 2000 van for 35 grand. And then same idea here. I shared this before, 25 grand listed 21 weeks ago. This will sell once it's under 20. Once this is under 20, this will sell. It is a nice van. So, and then this one right here, no idea what lifts on it, no idea what engines on it. And this guy only wants like 7,000 for this thing. I think this one's in New Mexico. So, where is this at? Yeah, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 7,500. It's a 94, but yeah, don't know what engine's in it. It looks clean. Don't know the lift, but it says 33-inch tires in the ad. So there you go. That's what's for sale this week. This one sold in about a week, 13 grand. I saw that one coming. This one right here from 16 to 13. Keep an eye on this one. And and then the Chevy 2018, fairly new compared to all these Econolines. The newest uh, pure Econoline, like you could get as a van these days, is um, 2014. They still sell the front, but yeah, it's like a cutaway. And then this one, this one with the unknown engine, 257,000 miles. Looks clean though. It has 33s, so. Looks like a decent lift on this one. So, yeah, no no, no idea what brand lifts on it, though. So, there you go. It seems like 13 grand is a sweet spot for these lifted vans for sale if it has, like, somewhat high miles. See, this one almost had 200,000 miles, still sold for 13 grand.